As a part of a six-week course, UNF archaeological students are sifting through artifacts used by Native Americans thousands of years ago. We talked to Dr. Keith Ashley about more about the program. Yeah, this is our annual uh, summer archaeological field school, so students are out there for credit. They can take it for three hours credit or six hours credit. And so each summer we select an archaeological site to work on, and this year we selected the Mayport site. Um, we know a little bit about it. There's been some preliminary work done by the Navy. It's on Navy property, and it dates to about 1000 AD. And that's a time period that we're just interested in here at the archaeology lab. It's kind of our research emphasis right now. So we selected the site, and we're out there for six weeks. I talked to Dr. Keith Ashley, who explained the various pieces from the Native American trash pile. This is just a variety of things we've been finding this summer uh, in the field. Uh, in this bag is just a, a large amount of, of animal bone. Uh, this is what they were basically eating. So we have a really a lot of fish from mullet to flounder uh, to catfish, pretty much everything that people are kind of collecting today. This is a, a kind of a gill cover for a redfish. So we can learn a lot about their diet, their technology, what kind of habitats they're focusing on for their food sources, but really just a strong, strong emphasis on fish. Uh, we're also getting a lot of shellfish, uh, mostly oyster, but we also get some of the larger, heavier shells like this whelk shell, which is being kind of modified uh, for use as a tool. Uh, we got a couple of pieces of kind of uh, ornamentation, and this is a decorated a bone, probably a hairpin that's broken. So this end and this end are broken off, but it's got this really nice design, uh, banded design on it. Um, this probably would have been about that long and it would have been used for to keep hair uh, upright. We tend to uh, find these or they've been found in association with human burials and they're usually found on the top of the skull. So this would have been carved with um, either some sort of stone, possibly a really sharp edge to a oyster shell or even a shark's tooth. So it's engraved as probably a deer bone. And then we're finding lots of pottery. Uh, these are the ceramics that they're using. Uh, we'll see this kind of waffle design. We call it check stamp. So they would have carved the wooden paddle with kind of knobbies and then pressed that into the wet clay and it would have left this kind of design that looks like a, a waffle. And this piece right here you can see is actually the lip to the pot. So this would have been the top part of the pot and it would have come around here. Uh, so we're finding quite a bit of it. Uh, most of it's check stamped, some of it's plain, some of it has kind of cord marking. This is a plain one here. Uh, this all dates to about 1,000 AD. This has been Nick Blank for Spinnaker.